Hello mommies and daddies welcome to our channel parenthood when it comes to breastfeeding a lot of people around you will give you a lot of opinions and advices with so many myths surrounding breastfeeding it can be very difficult for a mother to decide what is true and what's not so let us discuss about various truth behind these myths in today's video Breastfeeding is very time intensive. Mothers as well as babies may require a lot of time to learn the proper breastfeeding technique. Therefore, every mother should keep in mind that breastfeeding is not easy so that they won't quit when difficulties arise. During the initial days after child's birth, mother may experience some discomfort while breastfeeding. but over the time breastfeeding should never hurt if it is painful you should consult your lactation consultant and should try to resolve the issues as soon as possible breastfeeding is an amazing experience the size of your breast does not matter when it comes to milk production so just follow your baby cues and breastfeed on demand your breast will be able to produce enough milk required by your baby skin to skin touch should be encouraged within 1 hour after child's birth this may help babies to find and latch to the breast very easily if the mother is unable to practice this then the partner or any other family member can help her out Formula milk is made to replicate the various properties of breast milk, cow's milk, etc. Breast milk has various constituents which cannot be replaced by formula milk which are important to protect your child from various infections. Breast milk is liquid gold. Depending on the kind of illness, you can breastfeed your child. Like in cases of cold, cough, diarrhea, vomiting, you can continue with breastfeeding. If you will stop breastfeeding, the baby will not receive the various antibodies which can help the baby in building the defense systems. Breast infections like uh, breast abscess, blocked tubes are very painful but are not reasons to stop the breastfeeding. The things will settle down if you will continue with the breastfeeding. So just make sure that you maintain a very good hygiene and continue with breastfeeding because that is going to protect your child from various infections. Breast milk contains all the water the baby needs. 89% of breast milk is water. Therefore, the baby should be exclusively breastfed for 6 months and water should not be introduced even if the temperature changes. Every mother produces more than enough amount of milk for their babies. Breast milk production is determined by how well the baby latches and the frequency of feeds. Just eat well and drink well. You should keep in mind that you should discuss about the proper breastfeeding technique before leaving the hospital after child's birth. There are very few medicines which a mother cannot take safely while breastfeeding. Inform your doctor that you are breastfeeding your child so that he or she can prescribe you the medicines accordingly. The doses of the medicine and time of intake can be adjusted so that the mother can continue the breastfeeding. Every baby is unique. Some are clingy and some are not. This does not depend upon how they are fed. Breast milk is best for your baby. It enhances the bonding between the mother and the child. The best medicine for your baby's gut is breast milk. Stop other food items but continue with breastfeeding. Breast milk is the only fluid which your baby requires when he is having diarrhea or vomiting 
except under exceptional circumstances. Breast milk contains enough iron for baby's needs. If the baby is full term, then he will receive enough iron from the breast milk for first 6 months. There is no need of giving any iron supplements to the baby. Breast milk protects the babies from various infections. Washing the nipples before every feed is very difficult. It makes breastfeeding unnecessarily complicated and washes away the protective oils over the nipples. Breastfeeding up to 2 years is very beneficial for your child. There is no evidence that it is more difficult to wean your child from breastfeeding after 1 year. It is the decision of the mother and the baby together to decide that for how long they want to continue the breastfeeding. Frequent feedings does not mean that your child is getting an insufficient supply. Breast milk is easier to digest as compared to formula milk or cow's milk. Therefore, the children who are breastfed tend to get hungrier soon. Skin color is determined by genetics. Therefore, any remains of breast milk over the lips of the child after nursing cannot change the color of the lips. The amount of milk that can be pumped depends upon a lot of factors including the mother's stress level. Therefore, it should not be considered as a method to quantify the mother's milk production. The child who breastfeeds really well can get enough milk than the milk which can be pumped by his mother. There is no need for breastfeeding mothers to change their food habits. The type of food which they eat does not affect the breastfeeding. It is important for them to have a healthy, balanced diet. If they think that their child reacts to any specific kind of food which they eat, it is always best to consult your doctor. Exercise is healthy for breastfeeding. There is no evidence which suggests that it can affect the taste of the milk. Many mothers can continue breastfeeding even after joining their work. They can express the milk and can store it which can be given to the baby later on in their absence. Just learn the proper breast pumping technique and also the methods to store the pumped milk. There are various ways in which you can breastfeed your baby even after having C-sec. While still in the hospital, ask to see a lactation consultant who can guide you and can teach you the various positions in which you can nurse your baby properly. The size of your breast increases during pregnancy itself. It has nothing to do with breastfeeding. It is not a natural form of birth control. It does not reduce the chances of getting pregnant. I hope this video helps you out in your breastfeeding journey. I am sure you will be able to breastfeed your child without any fear. I tried my best to share the maximum myths I knew about. If you know any other, do mention them in the comment box. Do like, share and subscribe and hit the bell icon. Till then take care and breastfeed your child.